Hi guys, Mitch here from MJB Seminars where you liberate, empower and inspire yourself to be the greatest example of your creation. Now, have you ever asked yourself or wondered what a goal is? And I want to bust open that myth a little bit in terms of what goals actually are. Because most people think that when they set a goal, it's not something that's already within their sphere of influence. In actual fact, when you set a goal in your life, there is a part of you that has already connected with that outcome. In terms of the universe, the universe knows that all your dreams and aspirations have already been fulfilled. And life is just a gap between having that first thought of what it is you want to achieve and actually fulfilling it and making sure that it comes into your life. But the question is, why exactly do we set goals? So one day, it's early morning and I'm pulling up to my office. I'm taking the things out of the back of my car and I look in through the window and as I look in through the window, I can see that my father is in there and he's basically organizing the office and he's our maintenance guy and he helps to make sure that we maintain the office. So when I walk into the office, my father is standing there and he's basically, this is my father by the way, he's basically standing and he's organizing some things. And he said to me something really important. He stopped me and he sat me down on the couch and he said to me, Mitch, have you ever stopped and had a look at what you've done? He said, look at who you are, look at, what, look at what you've achieved, look at all the great things that you've done, look at how people, you know, acknowledge you and talk about you. And, you know, I like to consider myself a humble person. And in actual fact, he was right. I had never stopped to think about those things. I'd never stopped to look back on my life and back on what I'd created. And I think that it's important for us to understand that it's okay to look back on our lives and it's okay for us to achieve our dreams and aspirations and look at how those dreams and aspirations have affected other people in our lives. In fact, I think it's imperative that we do that because the more we do that, the more we stop and set goals and achieve them and then look back on how it has affected the world, the more we will feel inspired to continue to make a difference in the world. So this is my brother, Ray. And this is us, if you have a look at this picture here, climbing a mountain called Mirror Peak. Now, in terms of our lives, one of the things that myself and Ray set out about doing was setting a goal to actually climb Mirror Peak. Now, here's what happened. We set that goal and we trained for years to be able to get ourselves up to the top of the mountain. Now, when we got up there, the reason we set the goal was not to look at how we were when we got up there, not to look at ourselves in terms of who we were for achieving that goal but an actual fact to get on top of the mountain to be able to look back on the world and look back on what it was we'd actually created. So this is why we set goals. We set goals to be able to look back on the world and look at what we've actually created. So here's the teaching point for today. I want you to think about what was your Everest and how has the world changed and transformed based on you achieving your goals, dreams and aspirations. I know that some of you have overcome illnesses. I know that some of you have overcome nasty relationships. I know that some of you have helped other people overcome things. I know that some of you have built a huge vision for your life and affected the world and continue to do so. But sometimes we just need to stop and think about our peak and think about our Everest and really look back on the actual things that we've achieved within our lives. So this is the message for you this week. I want you to take some time out to stop and look back on what you've done, what you've achieved, and how they have helped you to touch humanity and the world. I know that you've loved this information. Please feel free to share it. Please feel free to tweet it. Remember, love is all there is. Love is the only way. Live your life inspired. Take care. Bye-bye.